Yes, sir. Once again, that was Biggie, 1970-something. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, that was a tribute to Biggie. That's just one. It's not. We're going to play a little more. We're going to get uh, this playlist going for you guys. Uh, but it is now time for the weekend wrap up with Nas, ladies and gentlemen. So if you've been partying a little too much over the weekend and just haven't had a chance to check what has been happening uh, she's about to break it down for you now. Let's go. I got you guys covered. Um, so with the weekend wrap up, starting off with the Billboard Awards this weekend. The Billboard Awards were yesterday, Sunday, May 21st. Did any of you guys I missed get to catch them. It? I missed them. Yeah. Um, I typically don't watch television, but I've been tuning in via the Internet. So um, it was a star studded event. Cher, Celine Dion, they were there with some throwbacks from the 90s and the early 2000s. Justin Bieber, Nicki Minaj, Drake, Lil Wayne, a bunch of superstars. Yeah. Uh, but in speaking of Drake, um, he stole the show last night and he won Top Artist. Oh, wow. Yes, and broke Adele's record, apparently, what? for most... Win- for, yeah, for uh, most... <laughs> I guess... Um, Winning the most awards in one night. Wow. So, yes. That's huge. That's huge. Drake took home 13 awards. What? Yeah. Give it a... Give, it was crazy. Give, give him a round of applause. Go Drake. ahead, Drake. Yes. The Light Skin Brothers are winning. Yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <Let's go. laughs> I love it. I love Drake. Yeah. Um, and he had a bunch of people, his entourage, I guess, on stage with him. His dad, who I think is adorable. Um, always wearing his purple suits. He had one on last night and he was holding um, Drake's latest whiskey. It's called Virginia Black. Um, so I guess he was promoting it for Drake him. Drake has a whiskey? Wow. Yeah. Okay. That, yeah. Man is, that man is investing. That's wow. That's yeah. Great. I hope it's good because I'm a whiskey drinker. It so. Is. Yeah. so although Drake won all these awards, um, we. People think he was taking shots last night. Um, Of course. Yeah, as always. (laughs) You have a whiskey out. (laughs) So he was on stage and, you know, his acceptance award. And he was talking about how he had this one close friend um, that hasn't been supporting him lately. And he asked them why they weren't supporting him. And the friend was saying they didn't want to be too thirsty. And that Drake gets enough love as it is. So... Drake was kind of butthurt about that. Um, he also gave shout outs to Ludacris. Wait, why would you be butthurt about that? Your friend says, I don't want to be too thirsty. Like, I don't want to be too thirsty. Well, so I that, guess that sounds like- he, he ended it with, you know, everybody has a short time on this earth and oh. everybody should show love. So I guess he felt the lack of love from that friend. Um, and then he also gave a shout out to Lil Wayne and Nicki Minaj. You know, the crew is now back together. Nicki Minaj was once with... Philly superstar Meek Mill. Philly, Philly. Yeah, so he's happy about that. Um, on our next... John, I'm going to let you know right now, if you blow up, though, uh, I'm going to be trying to hit you up for mad money. <laughs> you, mean, you mean we. You mean we. You mean we. I'm broke. I'm broke. So I'm going to be looking at you guys. I'm, gonna I'm be like, broke. I'll be like, yo, uh... I'm not trying to be too thirsty, but I uh, can't get a million dollars. And then DJ Bad Maverick is going to be like Drake. Like, oh, you don't support me before my money. Now. <laughs> so another star studded event that took place this weekend was Naomi Campbell's Fashion for Relief fashion show. Uh, the veteran superstar model who rarely is in the media for doing something positive, which wow. I believe she's always in the media for hitting a maid or <laughs> <laughs> being on probation or doing community service. So I thought this oh, was super man. dope. She's a gangster. Yeah. So she hosted a fashion show during the Cannes 70th Film Festival. Uh, she hosted the event. Uh, and also hit the runway to raise funds for Save the Children to provide food and aid and shelter to children affected by the Syrian conflict. Mm. So she had Mary J. Blige on... Mary got a new album out. Mary has a new album out. Which She's is going dope. through a divorce. Um, so I think it's kind of pretty cool for her to get out and hit the Cannes Film Festival and the fashion show to help out with her friend, That's awesome. Naomi Campbell. Um, also, models such as Kendall Jenner, Bella Hadid, um, and a bunch of top models were there to, you know, participate in the fashion show, which is kind of cool. Yeah, oh, support. Well, now have you guys They're ever, showing love. Have you guys ever been to a fashion show before? 
Uh, not that been, big not, of a fashion not the show. Big ones. I've been to like the underground ones. Oh, yeah, girl. I've been to like Philly fashion shows where they vogue and dance all crazy. So yeah, I've been to people who yeah. are my friends who are designers when they. You know what? I have shows. been on lying. I've been to rip, rip the runway a couple years ago. That was a pretty dope show. It was hosted by Boris Kojo and Kelly Rowland. Where was it? Okay. In New York. Oh, it was okay. the BET Rip the Runway fashion show. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, I watched it on the TV it was maybe a little while ago. It seems yeah. like it's interesting. It's pretty, pretty nice. fun. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I guess going to, I would have to see what the experience is going to a fashion show that big because usually you just watch them on TV and I'm like, I feel like I get a better view of everything, the you back scenes it's, it's, and everything. It's, it's cut and filtered on TV. When you're actually there, you see, I guess, the set changes. Even uh, at the concert, I was at this weekend. Changes. It was cool to see people running up on stage, doing the set changes, coming back out, doing the lights, doing, uh, okay. you know, so it's pretty cool getting all the behind the scenes. That's dope. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. So, Michael B. Jordan, do you guys know who Michael B. Jordan is? No. Of course. Are you serious? Really? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, so, I mean, you tell me what, what he done. have you been living under? Let me show you. Okay. okay. Michael B. Jordan, <laughs> have you seen the movie Creed? Yes. Or Fruitville Station? He's the star in the oh, movie Creed. Oh, Michael B. Jordan. Yes, yes. Yeah. I love that guy. <laughs> he played it See, out I'm not Creed. good with the name. See, a lot of people, yeah, a lot of oh people, th- those, those uh, like, kind of, I, I wouldn't call him, yeah, maybe like a new new star. It's just Michael Jordan. A new actor, Michael the B. He Jordan. Michael B. In there, so Jordan. He yeah. <laughs> so he's the star of the movie Creed. He had not so great of a weekend this past well not so great of a week oh, gosh. um this past weekend when his san bernando home was burglar burglarized um law enforcement say that no one was at you know in the home at the time mm-hmm. somebody decided to rob the star's home uh the individual or individuals made off with an undisclosed amount of cash and jewelry and it appears to be a random hit what? so does he have cameras or what like, uh, you know what i think at one point I you just got to put cameras in they're, they're still trying to gather evidence to mm-hmm. put this case together I totally don't think it's random. But that's crazy because uh, all these superstars. Who that was get, it? Um, ASAP. I think ASAP. I, I mean, he's he got robbed too, like last week. Yeah, there's a bunch of superstars rash robberies that are happening to these stars. They're getting um, that insurance money. Yeah, they're getting that insurance money. That's they what are, getting. but it's kind of it's a violation. <laughs> no, you know? heck no. I mean, insurance no. money, okay, but. You want your it's personal some items. Stuff that's like sentimental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I mean, yeah, I'm not saying that they're doing it to set up, you know, just to get extra money. But <laughs> I, listen, but honestly, like that has to be a hard life because you're famous. People know you have money, so it's like if first they, of all, if you're famous and you have, you money, have money, you people. have a safe that not even family knows about. So you you're supposed to have everything protected. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're supposed to put these measures in y- place. In right? place, so yeah. stuff like this happens, and it doesn't really affect you. Yeah, as but much. sometimes you just feel like it's my home, and you get comfortable in your own home. This is true. Hey, so we, got a phone call we have a phone in. call. I believe that's Casey, probably with the Thought Journal. Um, so we'll definitely we're gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys for tuning in. It was a pleasure. This is Nas with your weekend wrap up. Put up, put up, put up. <laughs> All right, let's give it up for Nas for the weekend. Rebel, let's go. Good job, good job, good job.